Victims of the Las Vegas massacre are recovering physically, emotionally, and mentally. 11 News reporter Madison Heap is here to tell us how one Billboard music artist is helping them do that. Lady Gaga, of all people, got on Instagram to honor and help the victims of the Las Vegas shooting. I can't get the gun challenge out of my head. Events like the massacre in Las Vegas shake people like Missy Gross to the very core. And I remember that instinct like, okay, those are gunshots. He just ran and there was so much blood on the floor. Mental health therapist says traumatic experiences have the ability to change someone's mental health forever. A trauma could be this concert, it could be honestly like getting broken up with. Trauma really just comes down to if you're able to cope with it or not. How are you coping at this point? I don't really know how to cope at this moment. I still don't feel safe, even in my own home, and I don't know when I will. Welch says mental health affects all aspects of our lives and needs to be treated like any other physical illness. Hey guys, it's Gaga. How are you? Lady Gaga recently canceled so the European leg of her 2017 tour because of physical pain. She says meditation is how she's coping and improving her mental health. I am calm. I am light. She held this live meditation session on Instagram as a way to honor the victims of the Las Vegas shooting. Thanks for all of your unity and for coming together to just take a moment to think about world peace today. For some people, just meditation could be fine, but for other people, they're going to need a lot more support. Gross isn't meditating because she says it's just too soon. I think I'm just trying to process still. Welch says everyone can respond to the same traumatic event differently, but that no matter what, everyone should prioritize getting back to a healthy mental state. A meditation app called Simple Habit is offering 11 News viewers a free two-week trial. You can find the details of how to sign up and get the trial at 11news.byu.edu. Thanks, Madison.